Welcome back guys. In today's video, we are going to start how to perform an automated scan using OWASP app. So let's begin. First of all, you need to click on this big automated scan button and put your target. So here we can see if we click on the automated scan, it is asking us for the URLs to attack. So I have on purpose vulnerable app that is developed by the Google. So what we can do is we can just scan this app in our OWASP app. I will just paste this link here. So here we have two options. One is the use traditional spider and the other option is use Ajax spider. A traditional spider scan is a special scan that enumerates links and directories of the website. It builds a website and takes without brute forcing. This is much quieter than a brute force attack and still net or login page are other juicy details but it is not as comprehensive as a brute force. On the other hand, the Ajax Spider is an add-on that integrates in Zap or Crawler of Ajax which sites called Crawler Ajax. You can use it in conjunction with the traditional Spider for better result. It uses your web browser and proxy. After using the traditional spider, we will learn how to use the Ajax spider as well. So let's begin with the on-purpose vulnerable app that is developed by Google and start attacking its Oh, you can see progress. It is shown using traditional spider to discover the content. So now it will enumerate all the links and directories of the website of this website which we have just given. It will build a website index. So here we can see the progress and links that have been found by the traditional spider built in the app so far. So let's wait for it to be completed. So now you can see our list is being populated by the OASP Zap traditional matter. So these are all the links that have been found by the traditional spider of the OASP Zap so far. Let's wait for it. So the process should be completed now. You can see it gives us the alerts as well. So you can see different types of vulnerability that are present in this website. You can see the absence of NT cross-site request forger or the tokens that have been found in website. So you can see also the alert type and what is the risk that is the medium risk and also the evidence is here and so on. So now you know why OASP Zap is so powerful and it's so important to use it along with the Burp Suite. Here we have the Content Security Policy CFP header not said 66 vulnerability have been found and this is site by with a traditional spider. Here we have missing anti-clicking header. You can see all and you can check for the alerts as well and later on decide whether you are going after it or not. So you can see the hidden file found. Yes, we also found some hidden files in this website. You can see it here. Also, we have cookie without same site attribute, cookie without secure flag, and we have X content type options header missing. So these are all the vulnerabilities having some risks that is either high or low or medium. So coming towards the history, we can also check on this site. So all the directories will be listed here. You can see it here. So whichever is found by the OASP Zap. Now let's come towards the use Ajax Spider. So now what we can do is we can also use the Ajax Spider, which is an add-on in the OASP Zap, and we can click on attack. So now it will use the Ajax Spider to discover different content and it will also try to brute force some of the directories. So let's wait for it. You can see our result is being populated in the results section. So some of the directories are out of scope and some are in scope. So you can see these have been found along with the alert that is medium, low and medium and along with the tags. So let's wait for it and see what is being found by the using of the Ajax Spider. So as you can see the OASP Zap, the app Ajax Spider is searching for different type of URLs that can be potentially vulnerable. So you can see different types. Some of the URLs are out of scope and some are in scope and we are able to see the different types of vulnerability that are present in those URLs. 
So with a very minimum effort, we were able to identify and we were able to scan a website and find some of the vulnerabilities that are present in this website. So this is how you perform an automated scan using the OWASP app and a very much needed and a powerful utility present in the OWASP.